So while we're all looking forward to Nintendo Switch 2, what actually might be more impactful for the future of the video game industry and Nintendo is AI, artificial intelligence, or as Apple likes to call it, Apple intelligence. It's taking over the tech world, and that includes, you know, software development, video game development. Uh, AI's been part of video games for a very long time. Uh, how uh, certain NPCs reacting games are sometimes AI algorithms. This YouTube video being served to you, even if you're subscribed to the channel, even if you've hit the bell icon, is still being passed to you through an AI algorithm. You don't just get it because you asked for it. You get it because the algorithm decided that you would actually want to watch this video so it is kind of interesting that a lot of us online here are kind of servants to these ai algorithm overlords and ai obviously has gotten a interesting reputation over time and ai does have some useful applications but obviously a lot of nefarious ones as well so uh, when we talk about ai we bring this all up because nintendo themselves has talked about ai and Miyamoto today has a new quote on Nintendo's approach to AI that I think is going to be very refreshing for a lot of people, especially given all the negativity that seems to come out surrounding AI. What I do want to note here is that my personal humble opinion is that AI is nothing but a tool, and it's the people who wield it that end up being the problem rather than the tool in that of itself. That being said, uh, we're going to dive right into these words from Shigeru Miyamoto and revisit some earlier words that, from earlier this year from Nintendo's president on AI because I think this paints a very interesting picture of how Nintendo looks at the future of their company. That being said, folks, if you're really interested in all of this awesome Nintendo news, Switch 2, Zelda, or whatever else we decide to talk about, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're on a road to 150,000 subscribers. And without further ado, let's get into the story because it comes from the fact that Shigeru Miyamoto was doing press for the upcoming you know launch of the Nintendo Museum which looks amazing there's this really cool merchandise out there with these different controllers and stuff you can get there which by the way if you happen to be going to the Nintendo Museum in the month of October uh, maybe get a hold of me at Nathan at NintendoPrime.net. I might be willing to buy those controllers and pay for them to be sent to me because I really like these oversized pillow controllers I don't know just some really cool stuff that being said uh, during this interview, according to the New York Times, uh, he did answer a question about the future of Nintendo in regards to AI, and here is what Shigeru Miyamoto had to say. It might seem like we are just going the opposite direction for the sake of going in the opposite direction, but it really is trying to find what makes Nintendo special. There's a lot of talk about artificial intelligence. For example, when that happens, Everyone starts to go in the same direction, but that is where Nintendo would rather go in a different direction. Now, that is some strong words from Shigeru Miyamoto being like, hey, look, everyone's going one way. We don't want to go that way. And that really represents Nintendo as a company. A lot of companies are, hey, we're going for maximum power and high-end specs. And Nintendo's going to be like, well, how about we go for something more reasonable, more affordable, that's good enough. Hey, instead of going for $400 million budget games that bomb, we'll stick with our $50 to $60 million budget games that some people will be like, ah, that's a kiddie game. That's a mobile game. And then it goes on to sell 20 million copies and people forget what they were even talking about. Or it's like a Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the the wild situation where breath of the wild goes on to win game of the year and second place that year was a mario game kind of crazy so uh really fascinating stuff but see nintendo isn't like new to talking about ai they've actually done it one other time earlier this year when shintaro furukawa at an investors meeting was asked about it and here's what he had to say about it i think a very interesting response in the game industry AI-like technologies have long been used, for example, to the control the movement of opponent characters. So I believe that game development and AI technology have always had a close relationship. Generative AI, which is becoming a big topic recently, can be used in creative ways. But we recognize that it may also raise issues with intellectual property rights. We have decades of know-how in creating the best gaming experiences for our players. While we are open to utilizing technological developments, we will work to continue delivering value that is unique to Nintendo and cannot be created by AI technology 
alone. So for our cobbles, I understand, look, it's not like we're not going to use AI. And you can argue we've been using AI this entire time for how we have like NPC behaviors and stuff. But you can definitely tell that Nintendo is not going all in. And I think that's really what Miyamoto was saying. Like everyone's going all in and just fully investing in this thing that we don't even know that people necessarily want. And, uh, you know, Oh, out here, Nintendo's like, hey, why do we just not do that? How about we use AI in the ways we already do? Uh, use AIs in ways that make sense, such as deep learning, super sampling, right? Nintendo's about to dive into AI technologies for upscaling. That is something that makes sense rather than something that costs people jobs or um, generates graphics or generates assets in a way that uh, gets people to get rid of some of the originality out there. You guys can kind of tell at times what AI generated art looks like because it doesn't feel unique anymore because there's so damn much of it. So I look at this as a situation where Nintendo kind of sees that everyone's going heavy into it as a cost saving measure and all this other stuff. And Nintendo's like, well, look, we're not in a situation that we feel like costs are out of control and we need to do this for a cost saving measure. We'd rather use AI in, you know, ways that make sense, whether it's through upscaling technologies, whether it's through NPC behaviors, right? Like if you want to use generative AI, but not generative AI to generate art assets, but what if we create a game where uh, the levels shift and change through certain parameters um, at random, uh, that might use some form of AI to help determine that. See, AI can be used in positive ways in gaming, but it also can be used in negative ways. And I don't know that we really know where the line in the sand should be. I know as a consumer, I'm getting kind of sick of AI being shoved down my throat. Apple intelligence, you know, like they're launched these new iPhones, right? New iPhone, new iPhone, new iPhone, get the iPhone 16. It's been built from the ground up for Apple intelligence. And then Apple intelligence isn't even on the phone right now. Uh, if you get one, you have the same operating system as I have on my iPhone 14. You have, uh, you know, <laughs> The what? Uh, what is it? 18? Is it, is it iOS 18 or something? And you know what's crazy? When those features come that it was built from the ground up for, almost all of those features work on iPhone 12, let alone iPhone 16. So it's almost like iPhone 16 being built from the ground up doesn't really matter because all the phones before it will pretty much be able to do it too, at least all the way through iPhone 12. So I kind of, I kind of feel like People are overblowing AI, but I think there are use cases, and, and like, I'm not going to sit there and say I don't use AI at all. When I'm using Photoshop, sometimes I use an AI background removal tool or an AI replacement tool to scrub certain elements from an image. Uh, I do think that there are some use cases for AI that make a lot of sense. I think AI has a place in this industry, but I do think that whenever you go all in and super far, I really side with what Miyamoto said here. Like I'm looking exactly at the quote, you know, and... <laughs> Man, you know, Nintendo's not going in the opposite direction just to go in the opposite direction. But he says, you know, when that happens, everyone starts to go in the same direction. But that is where Nintendo would rather go in a different one. And they're not even saying, like, we're going to go in the exact opposite direction. Like, we're not going to use AI at all. We're just not going to go all in. Nintendo's not going to dive headfirst and be like, oh, the entire future of our company, we are banking on AI. We're going all in. We're going to hire less people. No, that's just not Nintendo's way. They're going to use AI in ways they deem to be appropriate. And in other ways, they don't want any of their games to basically be able to be made by an, an AI. Because if they're creating a game that an AI could make uh, without any human input, then what are we making then? Is it even a game anymore? You know, like, it, 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 where's the creativity? How can you stay original? How can you continue to be an industry leader if everything you do can be replaced by a computer algorithm spitting out results? You know, like, there's use cases for it. And it can be used to aid game development, but it absolutely should not be the central core piece of how your game is made. And I kind of think that's what Nintendo's doing here. You know, Furukawa even saying, like, hey, we need to make sure that whatever we're making can't be made by AI alone. Exactly. Like, it, it, AI can be used, but if you could do it all just with AI, then I don't think you've probably made a game that you should be proud of, uh, a game that consumers will take to. I could be wrong, though. Maybe the next big video game hit out there is going to be one that's made entirely by AI, both generative AI and AI doing all the coding and everything else. Who knows? Maybe that is the next hit game will end up being made completely by AI. And you know what? Maybe it ends up being a lot of fun, and that's what matters in the end. But there is a lot of concerns about code stealing and 
um, you know, I image stealing and permissions and legalities. And that's all stuff that thankfully I don't really need to worry about. Uh, Photoshop might need to worry about it, you know, if their if their AI algorithms are uh, not using their own stuff. But I'm pretty sure uh, Photoshop has a really big old big built up library. Although Adobe's got other issues. I don't want to really get into it, uh, but Adobe has other problems that they're, they're kind of making cons customers mad with. So that being said, folks, uh, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts on AI in the video game space down below. Are you siding with Nintendo here? Does this sound refreshing? Because I know uh, what Furukawa said earlier and now what Miyamoto is saying, all of this just sounds like music to my ears because it is getting a little tiring having AI shoved down my throat at every corner. And I'm saying this as I recognize we're going into the Nintendo Switch 2 generation where DLSS is going to be a big thing or at least a Nintendo version of that. And my recognition that that is actually an AI AI algorithm. I know that it's AI, uh, but they probably won't use that term, right? They'll call it kind of like what uh, Sony's doing. Was it PSSR or whatever they're calling it? There'll be some clever name for it, but I don't know, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Roman Jets from Nintendo Prime. And I'll catch you tonight on the Nintendo Byte podcast. <laughs>